Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a second down throw for Rivers. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. To punt it away on fourth down, here's Drew Kayser. He bought it four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own. Oh, he's going to take this out of the back of the end zone. And that's going to be a safety. So how's that for an interesting way to start this ball game? <laughs> First drive of the game and you go backwards all the way into your own end zone? I guess it kind of makes you wonder what else we might have in store here in this one. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. So out come the Chargers. And their second attempt here, the first drive, stalled, and they punt it. Time to break some things out, I think, in the playbook. Now that they've gotten out there, gotten settled a little bit, let's see if they open things up. Maybe try and get the ball in the hands of the guys and get the ball into the end zone. <laughs> They're playmakers. <laughs> they would like that. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. Nifty move by Gordon. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Here we go. This is Gordon as they go to him again. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. here on first down and it's complete to Antonio Gates and to the 42 yard line here and brought down there a gain of six there on first that's a staple of this offense drag route to the tight end Dave's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch but still an effective gain nonetheless six yards was the pickup on the last completion so here's second and four Go. 
On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Trying to power it ahead with one. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Football is such a game of tendencies, down and distance, and on third and inches, third and one, you think, of, yeah, the fullback's probably going to get the ball, but when you get to third and two, most of the time that's either the running back or a pass play. So that's a nice tendency breaker by the offensive team there, handed to their big guy to pick up a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. They bring him down. Samson Abukum. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Rivers now on second down. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Got a little antsy there from his Mike linebacker position. Partner, there's times you think you've timed up the quarterback's cadence. You think you've got a read on it. He might have thought it on that play. He was wrong. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Credit the tackle to Brandon Meebane. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Second down, and his throw here's incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target, and it's third and short. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender, but you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley, and he'll be taken down at the 34. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. So on fourth down, here comes Greg Zerline to try and get three for the Rams. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough 
to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And they will jump out in front here with a very unusual scoreline of 3-2. to two. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Second down, Rivers. And this is going to be incomplete. He was trying to hit Melvin Gordon there. And it's third down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. On third down, Rivers. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Allen's first catch. Good for a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Try to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. We're good, we're good. On first down, it's Gurley. And he showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Second down is gone. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. down throw gone over the middle that's hauled in by cup give him 12 yards on that one it earns him a fresh set of downs well this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play you got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route and they just executed that one pretty well 
This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. From the red zone now, gone. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. Second and goal from the one. He'll get it up the middle, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two, now third down. This Charger defense continuing to hold the line. Now it's a third and goal situation. Now Goff on third and goal. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Rams add on to their lead. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. So they have the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now Rivers going to give to Gordon on the draw. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Call it an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. To throw on third down, Rivers. Right side catch, this is Gates. 
And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. How many times have we seen this? Rivers to Gates on third down to keep the Charger drive alive. on first down. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Michael Brockers able to drop him for a loss of four. So after the sack here, second and 14. Looking to throw on second down. Rivers. Gates has it over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Set, get hot. Get hot. Now Gordon, the first down. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. The Chargers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and nine. To throw. Rivers. Yeah, this one complete to Virgil Green. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Caleb Sturgis now for the Charger field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm willing to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Three. 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 
On second down, here's Goff. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Goff on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Down carry for Davis. And he'll get this up past the 45 of the 47. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Throw's going to be incomplete. The Rams on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. A shotgun snap to go. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. The Chargers getting set to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They run it for Gordon. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. To throw on second down, Rivers. And that's incomplete. Allen, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back in pass rush. They've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And that is incomplete. 
where the fans should be applauding this defense right now. It's an excellent job. They force a three and out, and they should be able to set up their guys with great field position, probably near midfield or better. Here's Drew Kayser now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Taking it about the 36. Job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. It's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out of the gun, gone. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. The tackle there by LaMarcus Joyner. Now the Chargers hustling, trying to get up and get set. Now a second down throw for Rivers. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First and ten, Rivers. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, 
You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And it's incomplete. They were trying to go back to Allen there, and it'll bring up third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. The Chargers on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Rivers again. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's always a goal that's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And the Rams now coming out on the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Orange, 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 orange. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. Tiger, Tiger. over the middle but it's incomplete try to get it to woods and it's third down and it is true you can draft the fastest you can draft the most athletic guys but if they don't know the art of positioning sometimes it's all for naught in this case in the right spot help force the incompletion they had his hands on it for a second would have been a tough catch though falls incomplete the rams on third down two for five to this point this is third and ten They'll run it now, out of the gun. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now Benjamin. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Rivers now from the 50. Caught by Gates, left side. And he's going to be out of bounds down near the 35-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. now to throw on first down and that is caught on the right sideline but out of bounds says the line judge the throw took him a little too far at second down
Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. A second down throw for Rivers. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So we come upon halftime here in Southern California with the Rams on top. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. going to get the football first here and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started this fielded a few yards into the end zone solid return pretty good field position they'll start at the 32 yard line and the Rams getting set to go now and right now these guys they're shuffling a little bit maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away yes yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit asking a lot of questions what are you seeing what are you getting maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive on first and ten gone they'll find Everett there complete and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Number 10 for Gurley. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. To throw on second down is gone. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. One of the things that really impressed me about Joey Bosa is that he doesn't sacrifice the run game trying to get sacks. This guy really knows how to hold the point of attack, great leverage, and then goes and sheds people and makes plays. And at 6'5", 270, just a monster. Absolute monster with a really high motor. Here's Goff now on second down. 
And his pass incomplete. Brandon LaFell, the intended receiver, and it's third down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. The Rams on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third down and 12. Now a draw as Goff gives to Gurley. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told. But they're still looking at a fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And Zerline's kick is good. And it's now 13 to eight. So the drive stalls out inside the 15 yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after him early. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 39. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. The tight end gates the intended target. Here's Goff. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. Goff now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Goff on first down. This is caught. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Gerald Everett, his second touchdown on the season. And thanks to the interception, the Rams offense cashes in for six. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They'll try and get the ground game going. Here's Gordon. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. 
Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Now Gordon. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. But these guys going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. The Chargers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. From the gun, Rivers. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Here's Drew Kayser now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. This will be taken at the 10. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 24. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Accepted. Rookie Derwin James with a pick. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Well, why do you go out and spend a first-round pick on a defensive back? Plays like that. The rookie gets his first interception. You have to have guys who can limit the other team's number of plays run and possessions. And no better way than an interception. And what a great way to break into the league. Interception here, Rivers. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by John Jackson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Wait a second. They did not accept that after the incompletion. What? I, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's free yards. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10. Cut. Wait, Cut. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He'll be brought down at the 43. Joey Bosa in on the stop. Trevor Williams with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Looking for Woods that time. 
This defense figured out something in the locker room. That's two third quarter picks now. And you just wonder, did he get too comfortable in the locker room himself? His team has the lead. Take care of the football. He's putting him in jeopardy right now. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now they'll pitch it out. This is good. Cool. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Hurry up. Second down, Rivers. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and six. Four down, four down. Let's go. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was, because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And, Charles, you'd have to think this is where you want to start taking some time off the clock. Oh, definitely, because you got the lead, right? You take a good look up there, and you say, okay, what do we need to do here? Well, you're not in full-out protect mode. You want to make sure you run it, throw it safe, take some time off, and eat it up. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 18. Not taking your advice, they'll throw first play. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. Evades the tackler, and now some space. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 14 yards there on the pickup, and that is going to set up a third and one. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Super 1, 17, 17, 17. Set. Goff wants to throw on third and one. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They have certainly looked his way in this third quarter. Another catch, and it's good for a first down. They pitch it to Davis. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. Now let's listen in on the call. 
So on the big tight end, hold it. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now a play fake here on first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Melvin Ingram, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. On second down, here's Goff. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The Rams on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and forever. Goff now looks to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Back now in Los Angeles as we've got the final quarter upon us. We get ready to start the fourth. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been terrific so far. Returning, it's Benjamin. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Hurry up! Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back Gordon. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. You gave the stat early on that he's one of just nine guys to go over 1,000 yards last year, and then you said they needed to bottle him up for under 100 yards. He's way under 100 yards. Bottom line, he's had virtually no success whatsoever. And because of that, among a couple other reasons, they're down on the scoreboard. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. He needed a yard. That's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. on first down. Throw left side complete. It's Gordon. And he's brought down. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Here you go, man. Rivers now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. First down, Rivers. 
Over a heavy rush, and down he goes. Aaron Donald able to drop him for a loss of four. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Rivers now on second down. And he's going to go down again. Michael Brockers in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Gibbs has it over the middle. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 19 yards is the pick up there, but even with that, they're well short. It's fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash, this from 53. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right. right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Back to the workhorse today. It's good. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. There's Gurley, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that's going to bring up a third down. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Throwing on third, gone. They'll get this one to cut, complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain of 13 and also a first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Sometime in this fourth quarter, someone on defense is going to have to step up and force a turnover. Midfield and inside the 45. 
A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now a handoff to Davis. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll try the air now with Goldberg. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now on second down, this is Gurley. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. The Rams on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and six. Another carry now for Gurley. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Well, forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Here's Desmond King on the return. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points.
streaks out of. They've got to feel good about that, and they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. Zero. Six. Throwing again. Rivers on second and ten. Flushed out right. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Rivers looking a little nimble there as he picks up a first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. A first down throw here for Rivers. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And Dominican Sue. And the Chargers are going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Right out, right out. Let's go. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And the pressure gets to him again. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my map. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, go, and they go. never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Rams, they're into the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Minnesota Vikings come to town. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0 and 3. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Rams are victorious here as we say so long from Exposition Park in L.A.